Well, guys, we just snuck up to less than 20 yards away from this huge albino mouflon. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And a lot of people have been asking me, how do I know whether or not I'm gonna play single player or multiplayer? And well, kinda I'm gonna answer that question today. And basically this is the truth of how I decide whether or not I'm gonna play single player or multiplayer. So yesterday I hunted pretty much all day. Of course that wolf's gonna stop right in front of the other one. But I hunted pretty much all day to try and find a diamond mouflon. That was all single player. And after a while, I realized that, okay, now I'm gonna try and switch over to multiplayer and see if that just might change things a little bit. And that mythical should be smoked. In fact, I just saw him pile up right there. Nice. So since we have this pack of wolves here, I thought, you know what? That's a lot of money. So we're gonna take them down as many as we can with the 30 out six. You know, I really wish they made a night vision scope that we could actually zoom in and see. That would be so perfect. But that one just piled up as well. So that was another really good shot. And this one's out here at about 200 exactly. So we'll try and take... That should have been a heart shot. Pretty sure it was. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> you can see him sliding down the hill right there. So I believe there might be one more wolf left. And that is how you take down a whole pack of wolves. But anyways, when you're a multiplayer, you don't really have much control of what time it is. For instance, I didn't really plan on hunting at midnight until three o'clock in the morning, which is basically what we're doing right now. But that's just the way it is, because this is pretty much the only multiplayer map that's available right now. So we decided to hop on it, and now we just have to hunt and see what happens. This is our mythical, and we got a double lung at 204, 907 score. That's a pretty good sized mythical. I think that might be my biggest mythical Iberian wolf yet, or I should say my biggest uh, Iberian wolf so far. So we'll probably get him mounted, but let's pick up this other one. This is a female. We got a right lung liver stomach on her, and we got two more laying here. Ooh, that was the one that I thought we made a hard shot and we in fact did a perfect 190 yard double lung hard shot 805 gold on him and we have one more right here and that is another gold a really good gold a double lung at 190 and that right there is about 7k cash in probably five minutes and since we have this decent wild boar right here I think we'll take him as well eh, it wasn't really a decent but it was a double lung hard shot and since it is still nighttime we don't really have much choice. We just have to keep on hunting until either the host leaves or the host changes the time. You really don't know what's going to happen. That's the thing about this, but that's a pretty good stag right there. It's a separate heart, but he has the big rack, so he could be a mythical. He's about 200 out, so we have one bullet left. And I was hoping he was going to stop, but he didn't. And that was probably a liver intestine shot which will still take him down pretty quick, but we won't get 100%. Yep, stomach liver at 204 yards out. So that difference right there, if we would have hit it two inches to the left, that would have gave us a huge gold seven very hard red deer, but we'll still take the 1300 cash and that's a real nice red deer. Well, eventually the host did leave and I was able to take control of what time I wanted to set it at. So I put it to eight o'clock in the morning and we found a nice herd of mouflon here, but they seem to be walking away. That guy right there is pretty interesting to me. He's about 130 yards out and we have the bow off the bridge. I think this would be really sweet if we could actually make it count. So we'll draw back zero in for about 120 and let one fly. Oh, he's hit. He is smoked. That thing just bolted. I think we hit him right in the front shoulder at about 130 yards out. Honestly, it looked like it was going for the heart. So maybe we were a little bit too far forward, but either way, that was awesome. Well, here he lays right here and take a look at how close that was to about 130 yard perfect double lung heart. That would have been uh, three inches back. It would have been money. 
but we're a little too far forward 136 yards though i mean i will take it that's a pretty awesome shot on the walk on a huge move on would have been probably like a 890 or maybe 900s but i'm really impressed with that overall shot placement right there well guys we just found something that i didn't expect to ever see something like this before i'm still trying to find a diamond mouflon and what we just found is probably going to be cooler than a diamond mouflon ever could be that right there is a huge goal potential albino mouflon it's a giant four so he should be uh mid to uh, close to 900 score but what I want to do is try and sneak up to this whole herd of Mouflon here and see that guy right there in the front looks like a good one as well. But he's not a five. I was really hoping he's going to be a five. But you know what? Since we found this guy, that is definitely priority in our hunt right now. And I honestly think that that still could be a five, but nope, it's not. So we're, we're in range. We're about 50 yards out from this whole herd of Mouflon here. We have an absolute perfect wind. It's starting to rain right now, which is good to be able to get close to them. But it's going to be tricky to get to this albino because he's hanging way, way, way back in the, in the back of this herd here. So we got to be careful and kind of wait for him to step out and present us with a shot. But we are definitely going to take him down with a bow because how cool would that be to get a huge albino mouflon with the bow and the red tracer arrows? Wow. Well, guys, we just snuck up to less than 20 yards away from this huge albino mouflon. If only that was him broadside right there, we could go for it. But of course, he's the only one that's like right directly behind this tree. So we just have to be patient right now and kind of wait for him to turn around. Look at the size of the curl on that one right there. Man, I so thought that was a five, but it's just a big four. So we're just gonna wait and hopefully eventually he swings around and presents us with a nice angle. Well guys, it's been about 20 minutes now and he still doesn't want to move. It looks like this guy here to the left moved a little bit, but we're trying to get his attention now. So he at least turns or does something, but there he is right there about 14 yards away. That is awesome. So the reason we're so close and we are not detected is because we have a really good wind and we have good cover here. Otherwise, there's no way you would get this close to this many mouflon here. In fact, right now we're standing up completely and because we're in the brush, which it's a miracle the fact that we can't actually see any sticks blocking our vision right now, but that's him right there. Hold on. It looks like he stepped forward just a little bit and that actually might be good enough for us to have a shot. So what my plan is right now, oh, look at that. As soon as she puts her head down, we're going to draw back and try and fly one right over her back. Here we go. Come on, put your head down. Oh, are you kidding me? They both put their head down the exact same time. Well, I guess we're going to have to wait. Come on. Just put your head down a little bit. Or that could work too. And we went for it. And he's down. A perfect shot on a huge albino mouflon. Oh my god. We got him with a bow at less than 20 yards away. That just took about like 45 minutes right there to make that happen. That's how long this took. And we can't really see him very good. But because we're still in multiplayer, we're going to pick him up. And he's a huge albino, 842 double lung liver. And instantly we're going to get him mounted. Oh. Here's the thing about multiplayer too, is even if you are the host, you could easily lose connection at any second. So no matter how long you want to take to be patient, eventually you kind of got to make something happen. Otherwise, you're really going to regret it. Say I waited a little bit too long for him to turn. And I don't know, we lost connection. I would have been just sick to my stomach if we would have lost this thing. But that's a huge albino mouflon. And we just smoked him at 20 yards away with a bow. That's probably one of the coolest rare animals that I've ever gotten right there.
but a perfect shot placement. We hugged right tight to the front shoulder, and as soon as she stuck her head down, we let one fly. All right, guys, so let me show you where we just got that huge albino mufalon. Now, we're actually at one of my favorite spots for Basidi Ibex. We're at the Mirador de Dona Amila, and right now, this is my map, so you can see there's no zones here anymore, and plus, I came here a couple times to make a ton of money. But eventually, all the animals will come back because there's no hunting pressure here. But the zone that we got that uh, albino mouflon was right here from 9 o'clock until... No, from... Uh, I think it was 6 until 9 o'clock. And I believe we got him at about 8, 8.30. So pretty much like right here. But now here's the thing. What I'm saying about single player and multiplayer... I think it's really good to hunt your maps really hard. You can cover so many areas that you can't actually hunt during multiplayer because you never know if the host is going to change the time or if they're going to leave or if you're going to lose connection. But when you're in single player, you can put a lot of time and effort into covering huge areas on your map. I mean, so many different areas that you wouldn't really go to normally when you're in like a multiplayer. But say you hunt really hard and you cover a lot of areas and you still don't really find what you're looking for. That is when you go to multiplayer and see if you can't find just that. But before we head back to the trophy lodge, I suppose we should probably take down this nice Basi Divex. He's about 330 out and we're going to have to hold for the heart. Or <laughs> just hit him right in the back of the neck. Because I think we're way too high for the heart, but we did drop him. So nice. I mean, he really couldn't have gone down in any more of a perfect position than that, but yeah, I would say we probably did hit him in the neck. Or double lung and thoracic vertebrae. <laughs> How the heck could we hit double lung from that angle? So we went, it looks like we went like basically straight through the middle of his left horn there and uh, split the lung. He's going to score 915. I knew he was a giant. And he wasn't big enough to be a diamond, but now he could easily come back as a diamond. Well, guys, welcome back to our trophy lodge. And this right here is one of the coolest rares probably in this trophy lodge. Our 842 huge albino mufalon. What an incredible creature. And I am so glad to have him in this trophy lodge. I think I'm going to keep him just like that. But wow. Honestly, I don't know how we should keep him. So he's definitely way cooler than the uh, diamond. What was it again? The Southeastern Spanish Ibex that we have right there. 968. So we decided to move him over there. And yeah, I think we're going to keep this guy just like this. I'll go through a couple of poses here so you can take a look. But I think I have him kind of how I want him. Oh, that's kind of cool too because wasn't he bedded? Uh, no, he wasn't really bedded. I guess he was, he was uh, drinking, huh? Ooh, I kind of like that. Wow, I think I like that a lot, actually. You know, I don't know. There's too many poses to choose from, but that looks incredible. But you know, I think this might look even better and we're probably gonna keep them just like this. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep them just like that. That looks incredible, wow. Pure albino and a huge gold rare mouflon. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.